Governments across the globe are scrambling to contain the spread of COVID-19. Now, you may have heard experts talking about efforts to flatten the curve. But what does that actually mean? Well, the curve that experts refer to is a graph like this one, which adds up the number of COVID-19 cases over time. Now, without preventive measures, there could be a spike in cases. Now, that's the red curve that you see over here. And that would overwhelm national health care systems with patients. And that's basically what we're seeing in places like Italy right now. But if we can delay the spread of this virus over the course of weeks or perhaps months, we would be able to flatten that curve. Now, that's the blue line that you're seeing on the screen, the slope a lot more gentle in that instance. Now, the healthcare systems should then be able to manage and treat all patients as quickly as possible. This would also give healthcare professionals the time that they need to develop treatments and eventually, we hope, find a vaccine. Now that's why governments have encouraged social distancing, as an example, impose those city lockdowns, school closures, as well as restrictions on international travel. Research shows that the faster authorities respond, well, the more lives are going to be saved. Singapore and Hong Kong are examples of places that quickly implemented those strict quarantine rules, and that's probably why the increase in infections in these cities has been slower. Whereas the rapidly rising case numbers in South Korea, the United States, Italy, as well as Iran, could point to a delayed response to the outbreak.